the Platymeris bigutatus typical setup. We have a couple of cork flats and a little bit of depth, some depth in there for them to lay over in. And now you'll notice this is dry, then we have a damp corner. This is predominantly where they will lay the over in the damper section. So I generally just spray these areas. This from about here across, I will just spray once a week, give it a good soak. You can obviously put in, in like larger setups, I will put in, for example, a plastic tub with a layer of moss and then sub on top, and that will just stay damp for absolutely ages. Um, and you could just remove that and just filter out the over if you wish to do so. But this is a real, real basic setup. You can add a water bowl. I don't, purely because I always find that they just fall in it and flap about. I'm going to experiment with the old uh, bowl with some pebbles and stuff in to see if they'll do that. But they'll quite happily drink from the sides of the glass, uh, collections of water in the cork bark and so forth. So feeding is very simple. Um, obviously if you're doing this feeding for your channel you can quite easily just hand feed with tongs and they will accept but the easiest and most effective way to feed your colony of assassin bugs is make sure they don't spill any, just dropping them in and they will quite happily as you can see snatch them up as they run around So you can kind of make it out on here. We have the front of the assassin bug with the proboscis piercing the roach. That will then have worked in the same way. Oh no, you've dropped it. Excellent. Thanks for that. But yeah, as I was saying, he will inject venom, same sort of way a spider would and then have a milkshake basically So as you can see, there are obviously multiple assassin bugs in here. Now the, the majority of your Africa ones that I'm aware of, such as the Platymeris species and the Pistilla species, are incredibly easy to keep communal, and they do incredibly well communally as well. As long as obviously you feed them well, otherwise you will get cannibalism, just due to the fact that they are absolutely starving. These have been in this setup for ages now and I've had no problems at all and they've been producing me absolutely loads of over. And they're usually pretty good hunters, they will, apart from this one, catch quite easily. They will often share prey. If you put like if I put a large item in here, like a dubia, they you will often see four, five, if not more, adults and nymphs all sharing any little piece of the roach they can jump onto. So here we have an assassin bug over. As you can see, it's quite plump, 
this is what you're looking for in a healthy what over if it starts to sort of dip in or shrink it's usually a sign of dehydration and a hatched over will have the white cap you can see in the middle that will be removed that is where the nymph will emerge from okay next up we're going to have a look at the nymphs and let's have a look i usually find some here okay so there's mixed sizes there This, that's what you're looking for sort of red one here is a very early one and then they start to darken as they start to grow 